Let's add the fractions 1 fifth plus 1 sixth. And when we're adding fractions, we want to get the denominators to be the same. If we have the same denominators, we just add the numerators together. And that'd give us the sum for 1 fifth plus 1 sixth. Probably the easiest thing to do is we have 5 here. Let's multiply 5 times 6. And then over here, let's multiply 6 times 5. That way, 5 times 6 is 30. 6 times 5 is 30. We have the same denominator. But we can't just multiply the denominators. We need to also multiply the numerators. So let's say 1 times 6, because 6 over 6 is 1. We're just multiplying 1 fifth by 1. Doesn't change the value, just the way it's represented. Over here, let's multiply 1 times 5, so we get 5 over 5. And again, this is just 1. But now, 1 times 6, that's 6. 5 times 6 is 30. Plus, we have 1 times 5, that's 5. 6 times 5 is 30. Since we have the same denominators here, all we need to do is add the numerators together to figure out what 1 fifth plus 1 6 adds up to. So 6 plus 5, that equals 11. We're adding the fractions, and the denominator is the same. We just bring it across 30. So in answer to our question, 1 fifth plus 1 6, that equals 11 thirtieths. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.